everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to the first video of vlogmas and yes i am doing vlogmas or at least planning on it um if you've been a long time subscriber you'll know that when i last did vlogmas which would have been 2017 i think was the last time um you'll know that it was a bit hit and miss and i ended up having to do it in weekly vlog installments however i am hoping to try fingers crossed to get a new video up every day um so yeah watch this space excuse how i'm looking i've literally not long got back from swimming and it's just all a bit chaotic at the minute but i wanted to sit down and film a quick q a video to kick off vlogmas 2022 as a side note if you can hear snoring licking grumbling it's not me it's Trix that is next to me um she's stolen where i normally sit in bed and is trying to fall asleep now so fingers crossed no one comes to the door like the postman um that means that she starts barking because i know that frightened a few of you last time so i do apologize um but yeah let's get on to the q a so i've got them all on my phone i'm actually part of a vlogmas group um on Facebook so I asked the questions on there because I thought it'd be a bit different than asking the same people um, to ask me questions so here we go what is your favorite Christmas film the holiday without a doubt the holiday I think will always be my favorite film but I don't obviously just watch it at Christmas because some of you may have seen on Instagram um, that I was watching it back in July as well so but yeah definitely the holiday I did watch a film the other day I don't know what it was called though but what I'll do is I'll try and find it and leave it written on the screen it was actually quite good um obviously like your classic cheesy Christmas film but it was almost a bit like a adult version of the Polar Express in a way um and yeah I did really that sun is really bright <laughs> it's just coming around from the trees so apologies if it's going all funny colours um but no I did really like it and actually the one of the main characters in it really looked like um youtuber Lydia Lise Millen um like really really looked like her so um yeah but it was a, it was a nice film I did enjoy it we sat down on a Sunday afternoon snuggled up on the sofa and watched it and it was just really good but definitely the holiday would be my favorite the sun's like blinded me now to the point that i can't actually see my phone for the questions <laughs> where do you usually spend christmas um the majority of my christmases have been spent at home with my family um i feel like that is yeah i'd say that's where the most part of they've been um a couple of times we've had Christmas at my nan's house um this is going back years when I was a child and then we just discovered that it was easier to do it at here um I've also done like half and half Christmas days so I've done like um Christmas morning and then up until about four o'clock sort of with my family um and then about four o'clock head off to go to like my boyfriend at the time's family and spend a Christmas evening with them yeah so it just depends I do quite like spending Christmas at home just because um you can kind of relax you know you haven't got to go out but I'm not it's not regimented that I have to stay at home I would say that I would always like to include my family in whatever my plans are just because aside from Nan who um, wouldn't know it's Christmas anyway. Um, aside from that, really, my immediate family is now just my mum and dad because, you know, everyone else has passed on and whatnot um, that we're close to anyway. So the thought of them to spending Christmas alone, I don't really like because my mum is very like, hang on, one sec. Come here then. You want to say hello? Oh, you've got my jumper. Hang on. There we go. You just want your armpits rubbed, okay? You trying to steal my video? <laughs> Come on, settle down. Find someone to lie down. 
um, where was I? Yeah, my mum and dad, especially my mum, is very Christmas, Christmas and family orientated. And I feel like they would be, not necessarily sad, but I just, I've got this like image in my mind of like them just being sat at home, just being like, well it's Christmas but it just feels like another day kind of thing so for me I always want to try and include them in my plans. Would you ever do Christmas abroad? Do you know what? I don't think I would. Like fair play to anybody that does and if that's your thing then absolutely fine and of course I love travelling, like I love flying, um, well I don't mind flying, I won't say I love it. I love the idea of flying, <laughs> um, cabin pressure does not do well for my head, but um, I love exploring different countries and I love finding out about how people celebrate Christmas or the holidays or that period of time in different places, but for me I quite like being at home for Christmas, whatever shape or form home is at the time um yeah I do prefer it have you ever hosted Christmas dinner yes um I hosted last year because obviously I wasn't at home or living with my parents um and I actually hosted last Christmas I think I hosted the year before as well I think that's bad, isn't it? I can't remember. What year was... was Last year was the normal Christmas, wasn't it? Yeah. And... Is it? I've, I've lost track now. With Covid, I've completely lost track. Um, but I hosted the year that... Must have been... Yeah, must have been the last two years. I hosted Christmas 2020. That's right, isn't it? Yeah. Um, where, oh my god, is that snow? How bizarre. <laughs> there we go then. Never know tricks, you might get your snow after all. Um, I hosted 2020 because, I remember it because it was, we were coming out of lockdown essentially for Christmas to then go back into lockdown. Um, and I mem remember there was a bit of a rush because we were going back into lockdown on Boxing Day and it was all a bit of a, a faff to make sure that everyone had what they needed beforehand. Um, and then, yeah, I did host Christmas last year as well, um, which I like hosting Christmas in a way. Like, I do find it a bit stressful, but I enjoyed, like, the finding the treats for the table and getting up and obviously opening your presents but then having something to focus on rather than just like slouching in front of the tv or whatnot like I quite liked that um and I definitely host Christmas again without a doubt but at the same time it was a tricky time and so um there were one or two things that did put a dampener on it but the sun's really which way am I going this way yeah it did put a dampener on it a little bit but that wasn't because of hosting or anything like that that was just the people that were there I know that sounds really horrible um but it's always going to be an awkward mix um when I don't want to like bad mouth someone on the internet but when people aren't always getting along or um when the cracks are starting to show i'll just leave it like that when the cracks are starting to show it can make even like get togethers more difficult next question where are we it's so difficult to see with this sun um what is your favorite christmas song oh i know that one straight away and it's a really like i feel like it's a random one like when I say my favorite song people are like really um but there's just something about it I've always loved and it's Stop the Cavalry by is it Jonah Louie um I just love that song 
I don't know what it is, I've always loved it. I don't know if it's like the beat or whatnot, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I pretty much know it word for word. <laughs> Not that I'm going to sing for you, don't you worry. You don't need to um, cover your ears. Do you prefer a real or a fake Christmas tree? And does your tree have a theme? I love the idea of a real Christmas tree. I've never had one. Um, like I see all these families and everything because we go up to the Christmas tree shop anyway um, to get wreaths and things and I've always seen all these like families and they're all like laughing and trying to choose a tree and then like the faff of fitting said tree on or in the car um, and it always looks like good fat and I do love the idea of a real tree so maybe one year I'll get one um, but at the same time I don't like the idea of the mess like I'd worry that the tree would die before it got to Christmas just I feel like that's added stress so I'm quite happy at the same time with my fake Christmas tree that I get out of the box every year oh yeah and do does it have a theme I suppose you could say it does have a theme um my an ex-partner of mine used to say that it literally looked like someone had thrown up on my Christmas tree because I literally had everything on there you could possibly imagine um but in terms of colours, no, it doesn't have a theme. I like to pick up bits and pieces when I see them, what I like them. I've been to air shows where they've had Christmas baubles. I've been um, to Greece and picked up ones from there. And of course, me loving aviation, anything with like Santa sat in a plane or anything like that, I'm going to buy. Um, and TK Maxx and HomeSense are really good for that. So. There's a lot of planes, I would say, on my Christmas tree. Um, and although you won't get to see that Christmas tree this year because it's all safely tucked up in the loft until i am got my own place again. Um, so, yeah, we're going to use Mum's Christmas tree this year. But to be fair, hers has got planes on it as well. She's got a lot of similar decorations to me. Yeah, which I think will give my tree a bit of a break as well because it fell over last year because I had that much on it. On some of the like branches there was like two or three baubles like layered um, just because I've got so much and I can't bear to not put something on the tree. Are you organised or are you a last minute shopper? I'm very organised. <laughs> I'm happy to say I'm very organised when it comes to shopping. Um, I start in January. I'll pick things up that I can in the January sales and I've got present drawers so they go into that drawer um, and then sometimes they get used for birthdays but if they're more like Christmas novelty or anything like that then they'll be saved for Christmas. It used to always be that my final air show was in July so the first payday because I used to get paid weekly um, the first payday in August I used to um, start my Christmas shopping and yeah that was how it went it was like as soon as air shows were over for me anyway um christmas shopping began and then it all changed <laughs> and i started going to other air shows um right up until september but i still do start picking bits up just not as much because obviously the money goes elsewhere um, but I do still keep an eye out and pick bits up as and when I see them, especially because I'm not a huge fan of giving um, so much like novelty stuff. I'd rather give a gift of something that someone wants that they can use all year round or what have you, rather than just something because it's got Santa on it. So I prefer to get a lot of the Christmas shopping done, or at least like the basics done, before all the like festive stuff comes out. I know that sounds weird, but... Um, yeah and then I buy all my Christmas cards um, at the end of September when the local fair's on which if you've watched my vlogs you'll have seen back in September, October time. Um, See so yeah, I would say I'm organised. That was a bit rambly but yeah I am organised um, and I have actually finished my Christmas shopping. I've literally just got a voucher to get um, and then I'm done. Do you have any Christmas traditions or ones that you used to do that you would like to bring back? Um, Christmas traditions. I love going to a carol service um, and we've started doing that the last few years. They do carols around the bandstand in town 
um, and that's always really nice. Um, what else? Driving around to see the Christmas lights, I love doing that. We also, every year on Christmas Eve, we go up to the Creme um, and we tie this in with getting Costa Coffee um, and like a little cake or something, like a little treat. Um, we make a bit of a thing of it and then take the wreaths up to the creme, put them on the graves. Um, so yeah, I suppose you could say that's a bit of a tradition. I've, I've always done that, um, or at least always gone up on Christmas Eve. And then when I've become more grown up and had my own money and stuff, that was when... Do you mind tricks? That was when we... Um, brought Costa into it so yeah that's a tradition any other traditions tricks anything I'd want to bring back that we used to do I don't think so our Christmases have always been very similar to be fair um, we don't really change all that much up so I'm just going to stop barking um I'm hoping you'll still be able to hear me over the barking. What's top of your wish list this year? I don't really have a wish list anymore. Um, if I'm honest. Because I... I prefer in a way, like... If anyone wants to buy me anything, then, you know, I'm always going to be grateful. I love anything that people buy me because, you know, they've put thought into it and they've wanted to get me something so that's fair enough um but I don't really have anything on my wish list a lot of the time if someone was to ask me what I wanted she's going to just bark the whole way through now isn't she typically um but if somebody asked me what I wanted I would probably just say either money or vouchers for anywhere you know like boots or lush or um, Primark or even like a one for all voucher to be fair that you can spend in a multitude of different shops just because then I can treat myself throughout the year to things as and when I need them um, I feel like sometimes that works a bit better but you know I've never had a present that I haven't liked put it that way like I've never been ungrateful to receive anything um, but yeah I don't really think I've got anything on my wish list this year. There's nothing that I've specific. Well, there is something on my wish list, but I would never, in a month of Sundays, ask anybody to buy it for me. Um, and that is a new camera. Um, it's a mirrorless one from Canon, and it is very expensive. So I am in the process of saving for it. Um, I think it's probably going to take me a few years to save for it. To be fair but any money going towards that would be absolutely fine as well. Dress up or dress down on Christmas day. I've done both. Um, my nan used to always get me a Christmas dress as one of my presents, um, so I used to wear that. But now as I've become an adult, I usually just wear like a, a Christmas jumper um, and leggings and just go for the more comfy look. Have you ever made a gingerbread house? Yes, I have. Um, and we're actually, one of my plans this Vlogmas is to make something else gingerbread, um, but definitely not a house. I did vlog it, but I don't think I've got the footage anymore to be able to put it up, but I did make the gingerbread house either 2016 or 2017 when I was vlogging. Um, and it took ages to edit because there was a lot of effing and jeffing. Um, <laughs> It was very stressful, so I'm not too sure why I'm going to put myself through something similar this year. Um, but if I can get hold of the bits I want to, then that will be a video that you will see and hopefully enjoy. I'm hoping you can't hear too much talking because the family have just come back, and so you may hear them slightly in the background. But we're just going to finish this video anyway and hope that they don't say anything they shouldn't. <laughs> Um, so yeah, what would your dream Christmas be? I think, to be fair, it would be just spending it with family. Like, I've always had this image of Christmas 
ever since I was young of like having my own family and like the grandparents being there and even like aunts or uncles or anything um, and just having like this big family get together yeah just having like a big get together where you know the family's got to bring a chair because you don't have enough that kind of thing like and just eating laughing playing games yeah just a nice relaxed Christmas in a way um last question because they are making a lot of a lot of racket um what is your favorite Christmas carol so obviously I do go to Christmas carols I can't say that I can sing or anything because I can't um a favorite Christmas carol would probably be once in Royal David City um just because I feel like it's easy to sing um whether you have a good voice or not I feel like it all mingles in and um can actually sound really nice so yeah I'd probably say that one um but that brings me to the end of the q and I think because yeah they're making so much racket down there I hope you enjoyed this video and finding out a little bit more about my Christmas um I'd love to know what one of your Christmas traditions are like are they the same as mine or do you have something um that you love to do every year like it fascinates me I'd love to know um so feel free to leave that in the comments below but yeah I will be back tomorrow and every day until Christmas with a brand new video so make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you tomorrow bye bye <laughs>